is here. Lawnmower this year. Time to mow before it snows. But why is not yet clear? Merry Christmas! We finally got a lawnmower again, and not just any lawnmower, one of Justin Kramer's. You know Justin Kramer, he's one of our friends who helped build the Vagabond Falcon. And this is one of his creations. It's a turbo diesel lawn tractor. I can't properly explain how this thing works and how he built it. So we're going to introduce Justin, and he's going to take you through the rest of this review. But I can't explain how it feels to drive around his yard, and it's way too fast <laughs> for, for, for a lawnmower. It, it isn't making the numbers he wants it to make, but this Cub Cadet it moves just a little bit too fast that what you think a lawnmower should be able to do. It's, it's certainly not a racing lawnmower, but... It it pulls and it it doesn't turn. There's no handling. It's metal. It's got a metal seat with its own raised butt crack that just oh, oh get friendly. And then it, it, Justin, take it away. Okay, uh, the engine in this tractor is a ten horsepower Chinese diesel that were on eBay but they've since stopped being on eBay due to some kind of pollution law with the gas cap because they leak supposedly. But I got this pre-ban. Uh, it's a copy of a Yanmar diesel because China likes copying like Briggs and Stratton motors and Honda motors and making their own versions of them for like a quarter of the price. The original motors in this tractor was a 10 horsepower Kohler flathead gasoline engine. So this is an overhead valve diesel. Uh, I also put a turbo on it that is on ebay i believe as a small turbo it's listed as there's a few models of it. i think it's like a vz21 is that the turbo that everybody uses like i got a honda ruckus i want to turbo my 50 cc honda ruckus yeah it's yeah. probably it's probably that turbo it's sold by like tons of people on ebay and they're different pictures and stuff but i think they're all the same turbo it's a little kit comes with the flanges um the charge pipe i made that's all custom. They don't make a bolt-on kit for this, of course. So that's your actual pressure pipe going from the turbo into the cylinder head. Being that's a diesel, there's no throttle. There's no air throttle. It's all throttled by fuel. It's just an open hole right into the cylinder head, right into the valves. Uh, there's no intercooler because it doesn't really move fast enough to help anything. There's no cooling fan. Uh, the factory air cleaner was modified to fit on the turbo. That's the factory gas Cub Cadet air cleaner. Then there's the wastegate for the turbo. There's the little header pipe I made. The turbo is internally wastegated. It came with a wastegate. Supposedly, it's preset to 15 pounds. I don't have a boost gauge on to figure out what it actually makes, and I can't really put that much of a load on the tractor to really make it build boost. Uh, if it doesn't build boost, I'm just going to weld the wastegate shut because that's what most diesels do anyway until they're really modified. There was a sloppy mechanics video. This was on the dyno? Yes. Do you remember the numbers? It made three point something. <laughs> Maybe three point six horsepower, which I thought was gonna do better than that, but I you know, there's a lot of a lot of loss in this setup. This has a hydrostatic transmission. Right, and you were talking earlier about how the rear ends on Cub Cadets were practically car rear ends. Yeah, they're very similar. They actually have a ring and pinion. Uh, a lot of tractors have like a belt drive setup. These are actually full on, these are a shaft drive directly off the engine. So there's no belt of any kind, no slippage. It's a very substantial differential. Uh, it has large axle tubes. Uh, there's modifications they do when they do tractor pulling with these to put Dodge Dart ring and pinions in them uh -huh. and carriers. I don't know what's involved in that, but I know they fit. But yeah, the rears are pretty stout on these, so there's a lot of loss. There's a lot of gear reduction that's you're losing power, plus the transmission in this slips. It's not actually in really good condition, I found out, once I got it running. When I, when I got the tractor with the gas motor, it didn't run, so I was just kind of hoping for the best putting it together and right. turns out the trans was kind of junky in it but uh junky stuff aside you were talking before about how cub cadets lasted so long that um it was a little bit of their undoing yeah uh they were originally made by international harvester which it says various places on this 
tractor. Uh, by I don't know the exact date, but by the early '80s, they were bought out by MTD, who makes a lot of different products now for lawn and garden. And MTD really cheapened up the design of them once they bought them because the way International Harvester is making them, it wasn't profitable. And obviously, there's these things are still around. I have like six of them now. And most of them have never really had any work done to them, and they all still work perfectly. Right. Showing that one there, yeah. yeah. Uh, so obviously they lasted pretty well, so it's kind of one of the situations where they made a product so good that people never replaced them. You bought one once and never had to buy another one. Right. So their, their market kind of, they, they kind of destroyed their own market for them. But one thing I learned hanging out with you, Justin, is that there's a huge following for specifically Cub Cadets of this vintage. Yeah, there's a, a large uh, following for any kind of like a uh, vintage garden tractors as they're called. These aren't necessarily lawn tractors or lawn mowers. There is actually a difference. Yeah. Uh, lawn mowers and lawn tractors are normally a lot lighter duty. A mm -hmm. uh, garden tractor like these is actually capable of putting on implements like a plow, yeah. snow plow, snow blower, uh, disc setup. Some of them had uh, tillers. Some of them had wood chippers you could attach to them, generators, all kinds of different implements. And they're a lot heavier for that reason. We're on a small garden tractor. It wouldn't have not just the power, but the weight to actually pull a plow through dirt or push snow or anything like that. I see. There's only so much you can do when the tractor only weighs like a few hundred pounds, mm -hmm. where these weigh like 800 oh. pounds, 900 pounds or so. So this, this is about 800 pounds. Around that, yeah. This some is the size of uh, this is the weight of almost a full size Harley Davidson. Yeah, some are heavier, some are lighter. But like a modern lawn tractor, you can like, you can flip on end and put in the back of pickup truck yourself, yeah. more or less. And you can't do that with these. We were when we were out in the garage moving stuff around. One of your other Cub Cadets. I thought, well, I'll just move. I'll just pick up the rear end of this, like I do to my dad's yard man, just inch it over. I, I like, Ugh, nope. Yeah, you can't even really budge them. There's a motor behind you there, I don't know why I just got. That motor probably weighs 100 pounds by itself, just this red thing, yeah. That's not out of a Cub, it's out of something else, but the same motor they used in Cubs. But they were all flatheads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the waiter in the 80s, MT MTD did come out with a diesel model. I think it had a three cylinder, non turbo diesel, water cooled, and that was overhead valve. Then later on in production, they had over overhead valve engines, but when International owned them, they were all flatheads. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming out and letting me uh, have a look at this, have, uh, have a drive. And this is, of course, uh, our Christmas special. This is airing on Christmas morning. So, memories of Christmas past and Cub Cadets and the images of our fathers. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Yo! and more.